All right, weightlifting for women and beginners. So I got you on a four-week program. Um, week one is lower, upper, lower, two sets of 15 reps. Week two is lower, upper, lower, three sets of 15 reps. Week three is lower, upper, upper, lower, four sets of 15 reps. All right, and week four is lower and upper, two sets of 15 reps. Okay, so that's a deload, which is pretty much an active rest week. Okay, so this is called progressive overloading. So you guys are brand new to the gym, so I don't want to get you guys... Um, Fatigue to where you don't want to go back to the gym. That's not the point of an exercise You may think that you're not making progress in the beginning, but the way the reason why this is structured this way is so that you can uh, get to your It's Okay, so Let me let me get a graph going. Okay, so We generally in life we want to shoot up like this we generally want to go up here right that's not how life works okay so you're gonna have your ups and downs and sometimes it may be stagnant and then you just shoot you know it might be like that where ups and downs and then you just skyrocket right okay so progressive overload kind of plans the skyrockets for you because eventually you just get too strong. All right, so for lower body, so for week one, you got lower, upper, and lower. All right, so that first lower body is going to be your, um, your quads. So you're going to do like squats and leg extensions. Um, Okay, so L1. All right, and then upper one. So U1 is going to be your, um, you're going to do full upper body. So it's your back, biceps, shoulders, triceps, and chest. Okay, so, so then you got, you got all those exercises and muscles to go through. I mean, I can break it down in a different video. Um, and then you got your lower two, so L2. Um, it's going to be focused on your glutes and so glutes are like your hip thrusts and your deadlift. So you're pretty much going to have a squat day and a deadlift day. Um, both days, you're still going to hit hamstring accessories. And you're still going to hit calves. Okay, so that week one, you're, it's two sets of 15 reps, right? So... So this is what it would look like. I know my handwriting's terrible, but it'd be like, so L1 squats and leg extensions with some hamstring curls. Pretty simple, right? Two sets of 15 each. All right, so you're doing three exercises. One is a squat, second is a leg extension, and three is hamstrings, okay? And then your upper is uh, going to be your back, biceps, shoulders, triceps. So you're doing five, five exercises for that, right? Oh my goodness. Five exercises for that. And you're doing two sets each exercise. So that's ten. Five, yeah, that's ten. Ten. 10 exercises 
and 15 reps each okay and then you're gonna go to the next day L2 lower body 2 which is your, your deadlifts and, and hip thrusts with calves okay and then that's week one and then you go into week two week three week four okay and then week two is lower upper lower and you just add an extra set each exercise week three this is where you add more so you're adding volume and in a, another day so week three is lower upper upper lower okay so you are added in another back biceps shoulders triceps and chest day and then the next week you're at you so you're adding another day and you're adding another set so you're on four sets of 15 okay and then week four is lower and upper so this is your deload active rest week so you're just going to go back to your two sets of 15 and that's it week four is pretty easy um, and then you kind of just go back into it um, for weeks five six seven eight you have a different mindset and then that's when you're like telling me your skill level and um, stuff like that so you're gonna tell me your weights that you did that first week weights for week one and to four and you're gonna tell me like if it was easy or not and then we'll decide if you go up and wait